Hi everyone, welcome back. In this short video, I'm just getting used to the new AH-125 or AS-350B3E um, A-Star, Squirrel, whatever you want to call it, from Cowan Simulations. It's a handful. It takes a lot to hover. Whenever I want to get used to a new helicopter in the sim, I like to go to Santa Barbara, KSBA. I think it's KSBA, KBSA, KSBA, I think it's KSBA. And um, I like to use the pads on the south side of the airport. They make a nice spot for practicing hovering. So learning to control the hover and the pad gives you a good chance to get used to the sight picture in the new helicopter. When I'm practicing hovering and getting used to the new helicopters, um, I like to make sure that there's wind set too. It's fairly unrealistic that there'd never be wind. Um, so I pretty much always have at least a five knot wind set with a couple knot gust because that's just generally what you would encounter even on a, a calm day. Um, I think it's pretty essential in hovering practice to have wind set because it affects your controls, how you encounter the wind and where the wind is coming from. Um, it has a huge impact on loss of tail rotor effectiveness or LTE that you can get into, um, which can be more prevalent in, in different helicopters depending on the design and how the wind hits your hits your tail. Not only does coming out to the pad and hovering around give you a little bit of practice and how the wind is going to affect you for the day, but it also gives you a little bit of practice in the areas that usually everyone needs the most practice, and that's pickups and set downs. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the channel. It helps keep me motivated to keep making content. After about two hours in this one, I think I'm starting to get used to it. 
it's a completely new sight picture for me, and I've never actually flown a, a clockwise rotating system in real life before, so this one's new to me. Be safe, be kind, and we'll see you in the next video.